Crossfade. Self-titled. Alright. So, time to defend this album. While also pointing out its flaws. That are obvious. For anyone who's listening to it, at least. And has a brain. Um, about it. When it comes to, you know, how new metal was at the time, or even post grunge bands of the new metal era, or pretty well bands, or pretty well bands that were kind of a hybrid of both at the time. And this, you know, is kind of a product of that, or at least this album in particular. And, um, as you've heard with Starless, is one of those tracks. is kind of one of those, how do I put it? Most of these tracks that they do deal with in terms of certain perspectives in relate in, from relationships, whether it be within a, mostly within that of breakups and stuff, most of it doesn't come off as optimistic, I guess. Though there are some songs that try to be, and Starless is, no, I wouldn't say is one of them. It's more like just this feeling of basically feeling burnt out on life, burnt out and on, I guess, sort of a relationship, I guess, and, or at least having this person's own person, who they are, something of that nature, just kind of feeling, or at least a certain love that feels in, to the point of infectious and it's affecting them as a person and as an individual or them becoming more like that, and they're just feeling burnt down in life, or something of that nature. Sure, Cold is one of those things where you were... Basically, this relationship that... was where he basically was wrong in the whole relationship itself, and, and that internal relationship was it was sort of more toxic even saying you are you are the antidote that got me by something strong like a drug that got me high but also being somewhat apologetic for what he was saying with with of course as the chorus is going on goes goes what I really meant to say is I'm sorry for the way I am I never meant to be so cold cold to you Sorry about all the lies. Maybe in a different life you could see me stand on my own again. Because now I can see, as of course mentioned us before, you are the antidote. Got me my something strong like a drug. Got me high. I never really wanted you to see the strong, screwed up side of me that I keep locked inside of me so deep. It always seems to get to me. I never really wanted you to go. So many things you have should have known. I guess for me, there's... It does come off a little more negative by the end of it, though. With, I guess for me, there's just no hope. I ne and I never meant to be so cold. And then, of course, which you know, so far away is one of those where I've been changing, but you never see me now. I don't blame you for everything. No more holding in. How many years can I pretend that nothing ever goes the way it should? No more sitting in this place, hoping you might see it my way. Because I don't think you ever understood that what I'm looking for are the answers to why these questions never go away. I'm so far away. I've been changed, but you'll never see me now. So far away. Now I'm blaming you for everything. Of course, they say this. It's pretty well the chorus, as they already kind of initialized when they started it. So I'm no more waiting for it at the end. Of every day that I will spend wishing that I only had a choice. No more pushing it away because I'll be busy watching things go my way. Never looking back on this anymore. Because what I'm looking for are the answers to why these questions never go away. Hey, watch me wave goodbye to yesterday. Nothing left in my way. I feel I've been saved with sun shining on my face getting me through this day. Watch me wave goodbye to yesterday. Nothing left in my It feels so good to say, so far away. 
but it's more the fact of, but I wouldn't say So Far Away is one of their better written songs. I will say, to some, to some slight extent, you could say Colors, but I feel like the real treat is the deep cut of No Giving. And Death Transcend is alright, but it's really, on and honestly, Death Transcend, similar more into Starless, and tracks even like Disco, which definitely one of the more worst ones dealing with, like, a lot of weird, like, when they try to get more rap rocky, it does kind of get a little, eh. But it's when they try to stick more into the post grunge stuff, that's where they really shine through. But it's not that they don't, you know, have something, some kind of charisma to them when they even, when they try to do these rap rock styles. Styles and as shown through more Death Trendsetta or even Disco for that matter, which is where that shines through the most. But they don't stick with it as much, I would say, in that in that regard, I would give. But in my opinion, though, one of the tracks I honestly feel I can and still will defend to this to this day is "No Giving Up," despite. Sonically being maybe not the most fascinating, but it's really more the fact that it's lyrical content, and I wish this was a single for that reason, so that maybe we would have have to deal with less suicides in the world. Because this is truly more of an anti-suicide song, song. So you found out, and it's one of the ones that do, they do the rap rock thing, but it does come off a little better than most tracks. So you found out today your life's not the same, not quite as perfect as it was yesterday. But when you were just getting in the groove, now you're faced with something new. I know it hurts and I know it, you feel torn, but you never gave up this easily before. So why do you choose today to give it all away? Well, it's not so bad, y'all. Together we all fall. Just as long as we get up, we'll stand tall. We won't, shouldn't waste another day thinking about, thinking about the things we forgot to say. I'm hitting back, y'all kicking these four walls just as hard as I can till I can't crawl. Waste another day with all these silly things swimming in my brain. As a, And of course, I believe it was Brain, blah, 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 blah. I believe it was Tony Byro, Byrodes, who, who's no longer part of the band. This is the only album he's actually been credited and been a part of. The gives this brings out the screams of there's no giving up now. Do you really want to give this all away? Can't you ever see things in a different way someday? This line coming up here is something that I will give the band any praise for. Such a beautiful thing to throw away. You should think things through over and over again. Such a beautiful thing to throw away. Considering it, the fact of considering that this beautiful thing, life, this life, that this particular individual that they're referring to, the third person, has, yet alone, to some degree, their own in perspective, as that life, that human life, is a beautiful thing. And for that, that alone in of itself, Gives this song, ma despite everything else before or after this, just massive merit. And I feel as though though this is just another one of those examples of that. It's just, even though some people will say, I understand if you would rather say like three, three Days Grace is Never Too Late being a better example of this. Of trying to bring that across without maybe coming across preachy, I guess. 
but just to, this alone is enough to give to have given this song a proper sense of merit. But that's not the only part of the song that does that. Not this particular, just this particular part of the chorus. And as of course, I'll get to the rest of the verses. So your scars fade away. You soaked up the pain. A better person because you lived through those days. And now you know what it's like to prove you can overcome anything that gets to you. Well, it's all right. We're saying our goodbyes to the past and everything that ain't right. We won't waste another day with all these silly things in our way. And of course, getting back to that chorus. And before getting into the final lines of that chorus, you should think things through before you give it up now and the bridge or refrain or whatever oh well, no refrain's course never mind but I know this is the lines that really is though sort of deep but in that way that are where the song I guess you could still say is smarter than it thinks it is but but and maybe with these with these with this bridge, these lines on this bridge, might you it's may be here nor there for you guys. I know we have given all that we can give when there's nothing to lean on. I'd remember this. All we make of this lifetime has always been within. And remembering that's why we should never give in. Before getting back into the chorus, and then those nice little kind of generic -y riffs, and the nice little, there's no giving up now! I'm not doing it right, but whatever. I haven't been as I've been doing it the last time. Even though it, the song may kind of lose some of that power and merit when tracks like Dead Skin follow up, especially when. When you have lines like "Someday I pray someone will blow me away," you know that kind of stuff does kind of throw you off from the really nice high feeling you get off the of no giving up. But I'm not gonna lie that everything leading up to that point, prior with this song, is kind of does get to me at moments more in the chorus where I do feel like. With where I've been, just that kind of feeling of being stuck, but not content, I guess. And but trying to break out and break through this mold, this dead skin that it is, that's kind of holding you back from being able to move forward in life. Whether it be relationships or whatever. So, and that's that's something at least that gives it some merit, despite the someday, well, pray, blow me away bullshit. Um... Disco is one I can't really defend. I'm not going to even bother to try. But I still kind of like it for what it is, for the sound and blah, blah, blah. The Unknown, there's not much to this with lyrically. It's really more of a nice little acoustic-y kind of ballad with some, some piano and keyboards going on here. But going back to... But I may decide to go back to colors, though. Uh, can you feel it crush you? Does it seem to bring the worst in you out? There's no running away from these things that hold you down. Do they complicate you because they make you feel like this? Of all the colors that you've shined, this is surely not your best. But you should know these colors that you're shining are surely not the best colors that you shine. Which winds up being the last part of that line is kind of repeated throughout the chorus. Which is part of... Which is... I mean, it's... Better than what Weezer kind of tries to do for a chorus, which is just, oh, oh, anyway. Because at least you're saying something, they're not just doing ridiculous other things. I know you feel alone. Yeah, no one else can figure you out, but don't you ever turn away from the ones that help you down. They love to save you. Don't you know they love to see you smile, but these colors that you've shined are surely not your style. I know you're feeling like you're lost. You feel you've drifted way too far, but you should know these colors that you're shining are surely not the best. It's For the most part, it is better written. may not have been the best executed if for those who've heard it when it was popular back then. 
as you've known, this album is platinum. I don't know if I can honestly say with this review that I've properly defended this from potentially getting lampooned by Luke Spencer of Rocked on his Regretting the Past. I can't say that I have, but all I can say is I still overall enjoy this album. I know it has flaws. I do feel like you should definitely try to at least check this out and give it a chance. It, at least try to like look through their discography and see if there's something there for you that you can gravitate, gravitate and grab a hold of towards or something like that. Because it's definitely, for the most part, it's definitely somewhat worth a shot. It has its moments of being catchy for what it was for then. Maybe it may not hold up as well today. And there are some production choices I forgot to mention earlier, more specifically in tracks like So Far Away, because they do try to do the scream parts of but they come off pretty well like how I'm about to do it right now. I'm so far away. It's, but, you know, I'm not barely sounding like I'm trying to actually scream my lungs out. And it's muffled and sounds like a quiet scream. Kind of like what I just did. So that could kind of put off some people. But they did make up for that in that last album on one of the tracks. It's just a shame that everything building up leading to that just didn't help elevate it. When it came to falling away, but if you do want to, if you this don't suit you, I would honestly, for a more current audience who wants an idea of what to expect from them, but you know, wants something a more polished, better, more realized version of what falling away was trying to be, while also kind of throwing in some ideas that might have come off similar to what they used to do, but being semi new, we all bleed. Definitely. Definitely more, even more worthwhile after having to listen to Falling Away. Trust me, uh, trust me on that. And yes, this is long. Sorry, I'm trying to do the best I can to defend this, and it's not the best. But overall, I still will give Crossfade at the best because I know it's flawed. At least because I'm still bothering to listen to it. Not feeling super guilty at all about it. Even though you could call this a guilty pleasure. Maybe not so guilty pleasure. Let's put it that way. Thumbs up. I can't say it rocks all the way. Even though I have a buddy of mine who would say it. He'd probably say it would be. Given that he, he's, after listening to it, he's like, is this the best of set? And he's like, no. I'm like, no. And I'm like, no, it's an actual album. And he's like, oh, damn. Which is weird, you know, how this album comes off in a way like it could be passed for a Greatest Hits album. It's kind of weird. I don't know if that says a good thing or a bad thing, you know, because some people are very particular about Greatest Hits albums, so. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, Crossfade. What do you guys think? I'll even let me know about what little I've even said about Falling Away or We All Bleed, for that matter. Uh, which I may actually decide to talk about We All Bleed. I don't know yet. That's uh, up in the air. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Did What did you think of Crossfade in general? I guess maybe. We'll go with that. And uh, leave a comment below. Let me know. Rock that like button. And thrust if you must if you liked this video at all. And as always, keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. I may decide to do an announcement involving this channel sometime later down the road as well. May make a video on that again. And, uh, yeah. That's it, guys. Keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. I'll see y'all in the next video. See the man signing off saying, take care, y'all.